here we are, 26 degrees above the uh, above the Arctic Circle, and it's 26 degrees C. We're roasting here. The snow's on the hills melting. This is climate change in action. This is part of the reason why we're where we are, doing what we're doing. I'm Aidan Mosby, and I'm here in Harstad doing an international collaboration project funded by the British Council. My role in the project is as a disabled artist. My name is Paul Henrik Ekheim, and I work for the National Museum of Photography in Norway, called Perez Museum. Uh, where my job title is Diversity Curator. So Nook is an inclusive arts festival during the Arctic Arts Festival in Hostad in northern Norway. Uh, and during the festival week, uh, there's multiple workshops being arranged for a diverse group of teenagers and disabled participants. So what we do during Nook is we hold a week-long workshop based around various photography tasks. And the work is also collected. Uh, and exhibited towards the end of the week. My name is Silje. I'm a museum educator here at Trasta Samlinger Sörtroms Museum. So we are currently at Pavilion 7, a building from 1966. This used to be part of the central institution for people with disabilities. Today I've taken the group on a tour of the museum. We have a complete authentic part of the institution. And I've been telling them about the story of this place, why it came to be and uh, how life at the institution was, basically. You know, they sent people here from all over northern Norway. They had to leave their homes and came here, basically, to live the rest of their lives. They might not have realised it yet, but some of the people who are in our group this week would have been the people who were sent here. At most, this institution had almost 400 habitants. They gave them classes in arts and crafts and realised that some of the habitants were quite good at making art, basically. During the years, they kept making art, they kept making exhibitions, showing the art off, and today the art collection of our museum comes from that. And we have 26,000 pieces of art made by the habitants. We've also added quite a lot of outsider art from around all of Norway and also internationally the past years. So it's grown to be quite a large collection. So on our way here, we collected some, some natural materials, things we found on the beach. The young people made designs on, on their papers, exposed them to the sun, and then we washed and fixed them. And cyanotype is that amazing blue colour. The group that we're working with, there's some disabled people, there's some non-disabled people. We're additionally working with some Ukrainian refugees living in the north of Norway. So that's bringing a very mixed group with a mixed experience around like barriers and access and inclusion all into the project. What better a place to be than somewhere like Trashstad, which has which has its history, which you know was very alive, and now it's it's into a museum. So it's important to have that that kind of context as as we think about how to how to work better moving forward. So today was all about how man and nature uh, relate to each other, how one impacts and affects the other. So we went for a walk to the beach and along the way we, uh, each of the young people had chosen a, a colour to focus upon and took photos of that colour and varying shades of it. And then when we got to the beach we, um, we kind of began to explore time. Short time scale such as like you know living organisms, shells, trees, that kind of thing through to the much more kind of geologic time and some of that also included how man had impacted the beach so there was like rope on the beach from, from maybe fishing or a plastic bottle. We got back to the to the classroom so each of the participants had had five photos and we asked them to rank them in order of one to five and then also give it a title and you know they all had really good I mean really good photos and then also that they really thought about their titles and then we came to this gallery. They hung their work and then we looked at the way that they'd hung their work and they'd all hung it individually and then I asked them to rehang it um, and then you can see the results of, of one of them 
behind me that had really thought about how the work sit together. It was clear that they had kind of got an understanding of how images work and then also how things might look in the gallery together. Paul Henrik um, put the exhibition up with the photos printed at a much larger scale. We came across to the gallery and everybody got to see it for the first time and yeah, the young people were like really excited to, to see their images on the wall in a completely different context, like in a proper nice exhibition space. The result is just so good and the work is so strong and everybody's contributed. For the photos and the way we've set it up is we've tried to kind of mix all the all the participants together as one group and in some instances it can be the fact that it's a color linking the images together but the narrative kind of shifts as you walk around the exhibition uh, and we've tried to kind of divide it into happy songs and songs that are a bit more serious thematically but I think it's the mix between the joy and the very serious subject matters in this exhibition that makes it work. The fact that half of it is about happiness and friendship and just swimming in the lake, whereas underneath the surface there is anxiety and there is trauma. And I think it becomes very strong because it has both those aspects. Uh, my name is Isabel Fredheim. I'm from Kipras. I love taking pictures. My favorite photo has to be, uh, it's called the fireball. It's fun because no one knows what it is. <laughs> Only me. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Pavlo Balashov from Lviv, Ukraine. Uh, that's my Ukrainian friends uh, on a uh, FaceTime with me. Uh, so that's like memories. They are uh, celebrate a birthday of my brother. Uh, together, so they called me uh, to celebrate with them. My name is Frederick. I am from Harstad in Norway. I have uh, found so many friends. And I have also found many photos with them. And I have enjoyed her a very enjoyable time. My name is Sasha. Mm, where are you from? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Jenia. I'm from Ukraine. Perfect week. The best week of her life. Uh, it's very interesting to watch how people uh, react of uh, photos. They uh, watch uh, moments of our life and it's very cool. My name is Emma and I'm from Shirklas. I've learned uh, through the photo how to like uh, analyze a picture with like uh, the contrast between the colors and when you focus or unfocus on a picture. It is called perspective because you see like my perspective, I see all this and you also see the reflection of me. We're at Trondnes Museum, part of the Saw Troms Museums, which also includes Trashdad. We took the project down, which we had installed in the centre of town in Harstad, and we've brought it out to Trondnes, and we've reinstalled it, where it will sit for several more weeks so that it gets a longer exposure and that it also ties in with the cultural life of the city. All the work is going to be archived and acquisitioned, you know, so that there's real meaning behind the work that everybody does. And that's, that's like, for me, that's really important, that it's not just gestural, that there's a real intent and a follow through. We're also here from the UK to work in a collaborative way with, with Nook and to talk around inclusion and diversity and disability. So there's also been those conversations going on and that's like incredibly exciting. Well, I have two highlights. One was going to Trash Dad and seeing the Outsider Art Museum and then also doing the uh, cyanotypes. 
and how everybody worked together. Yeah, to me it will always be the youth coming together and growing as much as they do during the week. But yeah, collaborating with great people is always nice. And for me, I guess it was just seeing it kind of finally coming together at the end of the week and finally all the participants coming together at the end of the week with an exhibition that actually made a lot of sense to them and that felt very meaningful to everyone involved. And I must say also the fact that having five Ukrainians just running around being teenagers in this day and age was fantastic. I think it's easy maybe to look at some of the images and think they've just taken an, an image, but then when you maybe think a little bit more about the context, about where we are, above the Arctic Circle, but it's been an extremely warm week, but then also it's like the political element as well. And even though it's easy to think we're in the Northern Arctic, kind of separate from the world, it's like we aren't. We're all connected and it's it's that fluidity of, of borders and boundaries. There's some concerns which are shared amongst people and cultures. 